in the mood of celebrating our very own. This episode of Fashion Diaries will get you drooling as the fourth year fashion and design students from Kenyatta University showcase their artistic handmade designs. This was made possible in collaboration with the fine art students. The theme for this season was aristocratic allure and different categories graced this runway. Karibu sana to the episode. My name is Ashley Asachi and let's get this episode of Fashion Diaries started.
how are you? How are you? I am very fine, how are you? I'm also fine. Introduce yourself to our audience. Yeah, my name is Ngendo Maina and I am the current Miss Beauty of Africa, Kenya. Popularity 2023. Miss Beauty of Africa, Kenya, Popularity 2023. Such an awesome title. How were you able to get this title? I saw the poster online. Mm -hmm. I applied. The franchise, the franchise owner is uh, Liki Odera, one of the best one of the best people in mm -hmm. this beauty budget industry. Mm. Yeah, so after seeing the poster, I decided why not do this? Mm. I'm a fan of Contest, contest that are from Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I believe my body is a true African beauty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since high school. Mm -hmm. That is back in 2015. That's when I hit my first runway. Uh -huh. And uh, after that, I paused for some time and continued from the from 2019 till date. I'm still a beauty pageant model. Beauty pageant model. Oh, I'm liking your confidence. How are you able to boost this confidence even when you're on the runway as well? It requires a lot of training mm. and a lot of affirmation from yourself. That we start with self-confidence mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of training. You know, practice makes perfect. Mm. That's why you see someone pull, uh, pull out the best work ever. But people don't really see the behind the, behind the scenes. So I do a lot of squats on heels. I walk, I follow that straight line. Yeah, all the basics of modeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I assume you are also a graduate from Machakos University, fashion and design. Why fashion? Fashion design is one of the best choices of my life. Actually, I'm from a family where most of the people are, are uh, they are teachers and doctors, mm -hmm. but I had to do it the way I wanted it. It, it was, if I miss that, being a gynecologist, I'm gonna be the, the next beauty part, the next and biggest beauty pageant model. So I had to choose a course mm -hmm. that relates with that. Mm -hmm. Is it something you always wanted to do since, you, since childhood or it's an interest that you gained when you were an adult? Something that I learned mm -hmm. and uh, I, I started loving it mm -hmm. back, uh, back in the, Back in primary school, mm -hmm. I would really try and uh, after classes, uh, you know, a public school is a public school. When uh, you do the uh, the cleaning at 3, 3 p.m., <laughs> so I used to make sure after we have washed, I do I do some crazy things, and somebody said, "Hey, you look you look like you want to be a model." The height is like the height is height. The height is uh, yeah enough mm -hmm. for a model. Mm -hmm. You being a graduate of fashion design and you holding the title of Beauty of Africa popularity, how has fashion and design been of assistance to you even as a pageant? I believe fashion design is a communication tool. That's why you'll see when we are doing the matter hat line, we, we have the we have the shirts, you, you buy the shirt to give back to the society. So because fashion design is a communication tool to me, it has really helped me because the kind of modeling I'm doing is really related to giving back to the society. Mm. So I, I combined both so that I can make sure that I give back to society in the best ways, including dressing up a kid to school, like we have projects that we do. Mm, tell us some of the projects that you've actually done. Yeah, uh, like my most recent project is uh, I dressed a kid to school. That's, that means I made the uniform mm -hmm. for them for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at least I have the skills to tailor. And uh, because uh, every course, I believe every course has a way that it's supposed to give back to the society. So making that garment made me feel like, okay, I've really helped. Despite the fact, see, that's my twin day children's home, mm -hmm. your idea, like, Ile Kuyana Chakula, you can as well, you as a, as a host, you can, uh, you can interview someone and give them the, the platform to, to, to be seen and uh, somebody might help them if they were or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what more after Beauty of Africa popularity? So, after Beauty of Africa popularity, I'm planning to go and contest for the Face of Nakuru Beauty mm -hmm. Contest, again, under the same franchise owner. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why I'm choosing this, I choose this franchise owner, uh -huh. is because he's like a dad. We even changed the name from Liki Odera to Baba. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, we uh -huh. changed the name from Liki Odera to Baba. And uh, I, I really love what I learn. Like every time I, I get into his contest, I come out a new person, a better person in this industry. Mm -hmm. And also being a face of Nakuru means that you, you being a face of the city, you must show people through what what is good about that city? What can they change? Again, I told you that fashion is a communication tool. So using designs to show, to show that what, face of, what Nakuru city holds is the best, part, the best thing I can do for Nakuru mm. as of now. Mm -hmm. yeah. What inspires you every day to wake up and actually be motivated to actually contest in different pageantries? Yeah, you know, modeling is a lifestyle. You have to practice day in, day out. And having that lifestyle means that you, you, you should go and work out to find a way to be, to be able to speak in public, to be eloquent, and to also carry yourself, in, uh, carry yourself with decorum. Mm -hmm. Any icons or role models that you look up to in the pageant you are? Yes, mm -hmm. I have a local and international. The local one is Bernice Nuna. She was Miss World Kenya 2019, mm -hmm. second runners up. Yes, yeah, second runners up. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, for the international, I, um, I, I, I adore Arboni Nola, mm -hmm. the previous uh, oh, Miss Universe 2022. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's also a fashion designer, and uh, she's practicing sustainable sustainable fashion, meaning she does upcycling, yeah, upcycling. Mm -hmm. And even as we wrap up, encourage everyone out there who wants to take part in pageantry as a whole. Hello. I, okay, I hope this message helps you. So being a beauty pageant model starts with your self-confidence. So you get the confidence without checking how your body looks. You just, you start, the best thing you can do is just start now. If you feel the urge to be a, a model, start now. It's never too late to start, even if you are 30. Nowadays, pardons allow any age, unlike the previous, and I'm happy that Miss Universe changed the uh, age limit from 18 to 28 to 18 and above. So at whatever age you feel like you are confident to start, start that time, start now. Mm, thank you so much. Modeling is a lifestyle for her. All the best in the next face of Nakuru. Thank you, and you are so welcome. You be my audience. Thank you so much. Welcome. Let's take a short commercial break.